Hey friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. Um, I'm just sitting here at Exotic Fitness uh, Beach Gym. This is where I do my Reiki events. It's a very quiet Sunday morning and I thought I would um, do this week's video. Let's do this week's video. Um, this week we're going, we're moving into Pisces season. The sun is moving into Pisces on Saturday, next weekend. So everything's becoming a little bit more dreamy, creative. We're tapping into more into our intuition. Things are feeling really uh, deep. And a theme for this week, a few themes for this week could also be like deepening um, not just your capacity for love, but your desire to feel love more deeply. Not just romantic love, but like love for your hobby, love for the things that you do. We're feeling those things more intensely. Um, there are also some um, Mercury transits and an inter interesting Sun-Saturn transit. So another thing I want to put out there is um, be a lookout, be on a lookout for your self-critic. Um, I feel like if you are somebody who struggles with self-talk, that will be very limiting for you this week. It will cause some issues. Um, otherwise, it can be a very social and mind broadening uh, week where you may have some luck with planning and thinking about the future. We have, we have love deepening enlightened feelings about love. All right. Also new romance or, or deepening of spiritual bonds, existing bonds. Accept the harsh realities of disappointing relationships. <laughs> That's coming right before we enter in, into Pisces season, right? That's coming this week. So what's interesting about that to me is um, it's like the, the, whatever's left of, a, of Aquarius season is trying to get us to see things very clearly. The world. The world. It's about endings. Whatever needs to end now is it, whatever is ending now needs to end now it does not come along for the ride uh, ace of pentacles flipped about a golden opportunity yeah something is not coming with or something is not that okay let's get some messages for the week from the tarot cars just want to be flying everywhere look it's the six of cups again and death scorpio which is transformation that's really interesting to me that we still have this um, six of cups sort of following us around. This is the um, this is a loving energy. This is a harmonious energy. But something about that is changing. So what was illuminated to you last week in the in the work of the integration of the full moon? What was illuminated illuminated to you? We're at the uh, final quarter now. Right, so this is the integration period, and then the new moon is coming next Monday. New moon in Pisces. So we'll talk more about that next on next week's video. But yeah. Yeah, these cards have been flipping. They're doing tricks. They're doing tricks. If that card was meant to come out, it'll come out again. priestess king of wands king of pentacles ace of swords knight of wands the lovers the sun judgment ace of wands you know this is a really powerful reading you see that you got two kings two aces but what i see here right away is the high priestess She's our intuition. She's, uh, she is the wisdom, right? She carries the wisdom. Her energy is what leads us to want to pursue this deeper knowledge. And she's shown up in the reverse, along with the Ace of Swords in reverse and then the Sun in reverse. 
So what I'm getting is that some truth is being blocked. Some access to joy is being blocked. Your intuition is blocked. All because of this King of Wands. The King of Wands is often portrayed as... Um, it often portrays our, our ideal partner traits. So if you are mad in love, if you are allowing or experiencing uh, the power of another person's influence because of love or otherwise, um, I feel like it's causing you to act impulsively or just to do things with this like fiery passion. We're moving into Pisces, watery Pisces. This is about slowing down, things becoming a little bit more dreamy and connecting to yourself. So I feel like what's changing is like you offering yourself this this cup here. This is nostalgia as well. So this is um, asking for a bit of balance, asking for awareness. That's why judgment is showing up here. Where are you um, out of your power? This is a very interesting reading because the first column is all reversed. Second column is right side up. Third, com third column is all in the reverse again. Um, so there's the moon. I see Leo. I see Gemini. And I see Scorpio. I see the lover's card, right? That's Gemini. The lover's is a is a, is another balance card. It's a choice card. And so what I'm getting strongly is that something is not as exciting as it seems. I think this is where this um tran this transit is coming in, except the harsh realities of disappointing relationships. I think that's very powerful here. It's showing up because Again, and you know, maybe I'll clarify, but I just have a feeling that this King of Wands is somebody else. It's like a, it's a, it's a secondary energy in this reading. Yes, clarified by the Five of Wands. Somebody else. Not only somebody else, but the, the, the power of this influence is in conflict with this core, the core energy of this reading. And the King of Pentacles, please show me the King of Pentacles. Please clarify the King of Pentacles. The world. So it's a if it's a if from clarifying who's who's who, and we have the major arcana showing up. That is showing me clearly that that's you, right? Or that's the the primary querent. If I'm getting digit cards like these regular. I forget what to call them, minor cards, then that's definitely somebody else. That is an external energy. So what's showing is that you're not in your power because you're working on this, this uh, your, your level of awareness and graduating into a new life. So I feel like this is asking you to remove yourself from situations where other people are having a lot of influence over you um, and taking you away from the thing that it is that you want maybe you don't realize that somebody is doing this because again what i'm seeing is you are not even in touch with that what is um close to the truth i see you far away from the truth what what seems closer to the truth is not happiness but rather some more unfavorable or uncomfortable feelings if you are feeling uncomfortable feelings along with the benefits and joys of life you are close to the truth because there is no separation between that which is um an experience of a good pleasure sense and a bad one right to the Buddha, the teaching of Buddha, it's all suffering, good and bad. Good and bad feelings are both suffering. Good
good is suffering because it's temporary. Bad is suffering because it is. Because we don't... We don't... What, what am I trying to say? Because it is, right? Because it is suffering. It's pain. It's discomfort. It's, um, it's anger. It's sadness. So, here's what, here's, I guess, advice for the week. Is to remove yourself from external sources of influence that are causing you to act impulsively. And try to come into a closer awareness of where you are at now. Um, try to ask yourself what is the truth that you are seeking what is this wisdom that you are seeking what is the joy that you are seeking and are you looking for it oh this reminds me of a meme a meme I just saw online are you looking for something in the branches like somewhere out there that is really in the roots that's what's here it's actually all a lot closer to you than you think it's just other situations outside of you are causing you to keep looking further and further away the lover's card is not just about love it's it is an intellectual card it's an air card and it's about a meeting of the minds it's about coming to see eye to eye and having this sort of this spiritual connection this mental spiritual connection a lot of dualities here. Eight of swords underneath. Some messages. Okay, um, what else can I say? I need, I'll, I'll pull some, maybe some final advice. Just a few cards from the universe. Show me actually judgment. What is the awareness we're stepping into? Show me this awareness. It's on a subconscious level. It's on a subconscious level. I feel like it actually might just be pointing toward um, an awareness around that which you no longer want. Something that you're willing to clear and make space. Here we go. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah. The beginning of an adventure, the beginning of um, a process, a new passion, an idea or a vision for the future. And I feel like you're, you're, this is Jupiter. This is, if this feels like Jupiter energy. Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. And we do have an interesting Jupiter, mm, transit this week. What was it? Mercury and, and Jupiter. This is about thinking and planning for the future. So, by the way, I do see a shift. Remember last week there was like, um, in 10 days there will be a shift. This is the shift. This is the shift because it's happening uh, from the 16th to the 17th. And I'm pretty sure I did the other reading on the 6th, so that's 10 days. We go from um, the energy of self-critic and trouble communicating what we want to uh, being social and, and mind-broadening thinking and planning for the future. So this has to come with the following of our instincts. I think Pisces, Pisces energy is really going to help us uh, tap into that. Um, however... We may be putting a lot of energy into other rela relationships outside of ourselves versus relationship to ourselves. And that, that may be causing some issues. There's nothing wrong with relationships, y'all. Especially if, you, if it's like Valentine's Day weekend or week, right? Yeah. Yeah, Valentine's is on Tuesday. The moon is in Sag on Tuesday, so we're looking for something philosophical and transcendental. We're looking for big picture shit. And if it's just not there, if it's not inspiring, 
Because what I see is, like, some enthusiasm is tapering here. This reading is not for everybody. Remember that. You don't have to apply this to your life. This isn't a homework assignment. This is just reading the collective energies of what's available to us and some of the things that we may be experiencing. So I see that there wants there, there's an adventure, there's a vision for the future, there wants to be growth, but then there also is this, like, me over that you know this this five of swords is about winning winning a battle losing the war there are no winners when there's winners and losers so for example applying this to this reading about relationships influential relationships influential external relationships If you're keeping the status quo, right? Because that's a detrimental Pisces energy is just sort of allowing things to be as they are. It's not going to lead to the kind of growth opportunities that maybe you are seeking secretly because you want to be in some sort of relationship with another or even if not in relationship, comparing yourself and hanging around other energies so you have a um, litmus test upon which to see yourself in or through. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's making sense. Or maybe it is. Do you know, you know what I'm saying? You can let me know. Or you can just comment and let me know I'm full of shit. <laughs> That's this transit, right? That's the energy of that transit. The self-critic is definitely rearing its head. Um, I don't know if this is coming because of something another person has said to you or made you feel like a, like a um, less than. Um, I'm here to say you don't have to tolerate that. I think you're better off on your own. Definitely better off on your own. Somebody may have said something that didn't feel good. Or maybe you said something that doesn't feel good didn't feel good to another person. So to that I say, watch how you say things. Because the Sun Saturn transit is definitely one that is a very challenging one. Um they're sort of opposing each other, right? The conjunction of Sun and Saturn. Sun is bright, Saturn is dark. Sun is growth, sort of beauty, medicine, you know, joy, Saturn is limitations, restrictions. And so that causes a bit of tension. I feel like that is causing a bit of tension. I think be aware of your emotions, be aware of how the element of fire is working in your chart. If you're somebody who has a lot of fire in your chart, or you know somebody in your life who has a lot of fire in your chart, be aware of them. <laughs> be aware of them. Be aware of how the fire is working this week, okay? I don't know if there's lashing out. Okay, let's let's get some final advice for the Ace of Wands here universe. Ace of Wands universe. The moon. The moon is about what is unknown. This is a fear card. Fear. Confusion. This isn't a subconscious. There's a lot of subconscious work being done this week. You know, this may be a positive sign, actually, this moon showing up on the Ace of Wands in reverse, because it could feel like you are finally aware of that which no longer is really piquing your interest. You're aware of something that is no longer 
um, that you're that you're you're becoming aware of something that you no longer want to give energy into because it's not serving you. That's what this growing awareness, self awareness is about. It's about honoring the fe the feelings you have when something is just not working. Something is not bringing you joy. It's like you've tried and tried and tried. But what are you trying for? Like, are you trying to be this king of wands? Are you trying to seem like a powerful and influential person? Because you do have power, but it's like, it's almost like you're, it's, it's misaligned. You're doing it for some sort of external benefit or perception for maybe validation of other, of another, instead of using your using and sitting in your power as a way to connect deeply with yourself and ultimately guide your life and and do the work this feels like wanting to do the work one more card i just want to see one more thing So some of you are ignoring your gifts um, because you're trying to fit the form of another. You're trying to fit the form of another person or another idea. And um, another, I think a small percentage of you have been, if you've been having trouble sleeping or worrying about something, like overly worrying about something, it's time to do some gratitude practice and to really pay attention to how your mind is working. So this is this makes me feel like we're going back to the idea of um, for some of you who have like really um, have, have big issues with negative self-talk. It's time to do a gratitude practice uh, to appreciate what you have and everything you've worked for so far. And then you'll, re then you'll realize um, that even on your own, even in solitude, you are valuable and powerful. Okay? That's what I have is Three of Swords. Sorry, Three of Swords. Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So we're fighting the demons, right? We're fighting the demons. This is a messenger of power and nurturing your power. Creature comforts. To address this. It's not of swords. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys are lying to yourselves. There's, there's no other way to put that. You're lying to yourself. Mm. What are you lying about? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. The Magician. Another Gemini card. Lying to yourself about that you have what you need or that you can get what you need. It's about utilizing your resources effectively. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. Maybe you're giving too much away. Maybe you're um, not acknowledging, again, going back to the awareness, not acknowledging what's really here and available to you. Or maybe some, if there's like this external energy, maybe somebody is using your resources or energy in a way that you have not approved, or even if you have approved, like is just not sustainable for you anymore. And it's causing you to not show up properly in the world. Okay, let's leave it there, because this, this was like a really interesting reading. There's like a lot showing up, so I pulled a lot of clarifiers. Um, also, Virgo did end up showing up. Virgo, Scorpio, 
Gemini, uh, Cancer, I guess, because we got double moon energy. Mm hmm. And there's a bit of Sag energy showing up too, not not as their not as their astrological representative, their tarot tarot rep, but it, I just feel it. I feel the expansion of the Sag energy. But that could also just be Pisces, because Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter, right? Yeah. Also Neptune. My goodness. Okay, thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you on the next video next week. Um, make sure you check out the recommended listening below um, if you're into jamming out after these readings. Okay, thanks so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, do all the things, all right?